Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing and if you're back, welcome back. Today, um, I have a big old pile of packages to share with you all. Um, so this is a video in my small shop haul series where I just share with you all some of the goodies I've had come in um, and mostly get to just share about some small businesses in the community that I would absolutely encourage you to check out. I love supporting um, small shops in the crafting community and of course want to try to use my platform as much as I can to share the love with them. So we have a lot to get through today, <laughs> but, and there might be one or two packages in here that actually are not supposed to go with this video, but we'll, we'll find out. It'll be fine. <laughs> so let me shift these a little bit out of the way. And I first want to show you, yes, I've already gotten into this package, but it was because I really wanted to use the pen that was in here um, for my drills and chills video this past weekend. But I still wanted to take a moment to share some love with this shop and share what came in the package. So this is from Monarch Designs YEG on Etsy and they make pens. And it did not come with a thin metal multiplacer. I had put that in there myself, but look at how sparkly and beautiful this pen is. It is so pretty in person. The camera does not do it justice whatsoever. So their shop is based in Canada, but I found their shipping to be really reasonable um, and quick as well. And they are one of our sponsors for Drills and Chills. So I really wanted to share the love with them. So the pen had come wrapped up in this blue tissue paper, which I absolutely destroyed. <laughs> It came with, here's their business card, which is, oh, I love that business card. That's pretty. And there we go, Monarch Designs YEG. And it came with candy galore, which will go in my little stash. And then um, some stickers, and there's also a multi-placer, and this is where the single placer tip was as well, and a little plate of pink wax. So yay, I really love this pen. I've had the chance to use it already, and I am really happy with it. So yay for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into, I have some goodies from Patty Wax. I have two separate packages from Patty Wax here. Um, I actually have not ordered from Patty Wax in a little while, and they had some, scents and whatnot that were really catching my eye. Now, Patty Wax and Distracted by Diamonds are both the same Etsy shop. They're owned by Robin and her husband, Ben. And um, they're a really, really sweet couple. And they sell alternative wax, or wax alternatives rather, for diamond painting, along with other diamond painting accessories. So, all the goodies. This is fun, a little Halloween themed bracelet. Maybe my, my son might like that, actually. He'd think that was really fun. <laughs> Uh, we always get some stickers and other goodies. So there we go. Thank you note. Stickers. Oh, those are fun. And I just, I stash all of my stickers and uh, reuse them for Happy Mail. <laughs> so in this one, I have, I got these two scents. Autumn Magic and Butterbeer. Oh my goodness. Okay, do not eat looking at you, Matt. <laughs> Do not eat your patty wax. Okay. Autumn magic. Oh, that smells so good. It's, I'm not really good at describing scents. I apologize, but it's got just a little bit of a spice to it. And then butterbeer. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I smell that a little bit. So, um, has anyone else been to universal and had the butterbeer that's there? Oh my gosh. This also came with a sample denim. You know what? I'm kind of glad this came with a sample of the scent denim because I kind of did a head tilt when I saw that in her shop. I was like, what does denim smell like? I don't, I don't even know how to describe that. It's a little bit of a floral maybe. Okay, and here's some candy. So yay, it's one patty wax package. Let's get into the other patty wax package. I hope you guys are all doing really well, by the way. <laughs> Sorry that it always takes me a moment to actually get into these. Come on. I like that her packaging is branded, by the way. That's really fun. All right, what do we have in this one? More samples, more candy, and, oh, that's right. Come on, okay. 
So we have candy, we have, uh, this is a sample of pear blossom. I think I actually have a brick of this, it's nice. Oh, and some ABs, she is selling ABs now. That's fun that it's like a blue jean. <laughs> more stickers the same thank you notes and i got a minder i like that patty wax's minders are like they're really big <laughs> and they're flat but i just thought this was so cute and perfect for like my drills and chills kit so that's with sally i don't remember the exact name of this one now she does two of these super powerful magnets on the back and honestly I tend to take one off because otherwise it wants to grab all the magnets from um, the rest of my minder binder. <laughs> all right, yay for patty wax goodies. It's been too long. Okay, now I wanna get into, you might recognize this packaging. <laughs> um, simply gilded. <laughs> so I absolutely could not in any way, shape or form resist when I saw the gorgeousness of the colors that they were releasing for Halloween and fall. Um, yes. So I couldn't resist. Let me see. Let's get into these. Okay. There's a lot. I know. I know. <laughs> what can I say? It's a problem. And there were some kind of promotions and stuff, I believe, but she always includes freebies. So like this thing you can use for your planner, sampler freebie, and the same with these bows. She often includes these journaling cards. Pretty. And then these are the three that were in here. So these were like, there's this olive green pumpkin-y one. And then this one has like herbs and whatnot on it. And then this was just like fall leaves in a breeze. Let's keep going. I think this was a set. Oh my gosh, yes. So this is the Stardust in this release's colors. And oh my gosh, you guys, I am, I think the, the Stardust, which I'll show you what that means in a minute. The Stardust is like my favorite style of theirs that they offer. Is this one called Autumn Magic? Oh my gosh, you guys. So Stardust is their washi line that has like, what, Stardust, like the metal, the foil over the washi color. And yeah, I think this one was called Harvest. This was the Harvest Stardust, but oh my gosh, you guys. I love these and I'm gonna use these as borders on my diamond painting kits for drills and chills, they're so pretty. They don't go anywhere washi. One more. And this was one again that I just, as soon as I saw them, I was like, those are so unique, so pretty. I have to have them. Like I just, oh my gosh, there's more Stardust. And this is the, which one is this called? This is the Midnight Magic pack, which let me just throw my washi everywhere. Came with this really, really pretty journaling card. Happy Halloween. Oh, it's a postcard. Uh, I'm not sending this away though. This is too pretty. I'm keeping it. Oh my gosh, look at the little bat. <laughs> the little Batman costume over there. <laughs> so cute. Wait, let me show you this washi. Let me try to get it into a pretty stack for you all. Instead of just throwing it everywhere. This isn't gonna work, is it? Okay, Haunted House Stardust. There we go. So it came with these Stardust sets, which have bats in them. Well, those two do anyway but this is incredible. Like these Halloween colors with the bats. Oh my gosh, absolutely incredible. I love it. And then it came with these two. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm ready for Halloween. Look at how incredible those are. <gasps> Yay, okay, Simply Gilded haul. And now I'm putting myself on a no buy for washi for a little bit because Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, next up, this package is from Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. This is an Etsy shop run by the fabulous Jenny over at the Uncrafty Crafter on YouTube. She has Instagram as well. And she has this really, really interesting minder concept. Well, and I, I love her bags that she packs in too. I always save those. But um, just swing it. <laughs> and where there's original. <laughs> my husband saw that I'd gotten like one of these, I think from my last Oh Snap order, he saw where there's original and he was like, was someone's grandma here? <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> what? It's, it's candy. Anyway, uh, Oh Snap Crafters Cafe is, well, it's Oh Snap because of how unique her minders are. Here's her branding. Scented minders and notions. So there's a little thank you note. Yay. Now, what I had ordered was a couple of these inserts, and they're kind of themed for Halloween. Well, this one's obviously Halloween themed, but they have snaps on the back, and they snap into one of the bases that I've purchased previously. Um, and the bases, it's really cool because you snap these off and snap new ones in. So these have scented bits. I don't want to. There we go. You can choose your scent, and she scents this with, I believe, essential oils. I think that one might be, is it unicorn farts? I don't remember <laughs> what scents I ordered. <laughs> I think that one was unicorn. And this one, look at that, that's so fun for Halloween. That one smells more lemony. So yay, thank you so much, Jenny. Um, Jenny's shop, when she does restock these, it does sell out pretty quickly. So if you want to try to get your hands on some of those minders, be sure to follow her on Instagram, on her YouTube channel, all the things so that you can stay up to date with when those restocks are happening. This, I it doesn't have a shop name on it and I don't remember what's in it. So it's gonna be a surprise for all of us. <laughs> It has a person's name, not a shop name. And I cannot tell from feeling what is in here, but that's okay, we'll find out. This is one of the ones that I was like, is this supposed to be in this video? <laughs> what is in here? Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is a new to me shop with minders. And okay, hold on just a second. Okay. Sorry, I have to double check on something really quick before I show these. Whoa, let me not drop things all over the place. Okay. So, the name of this shop is Sweet Autumn Stitch. So again, this is a new to me um, minder shop. And this is, I think for floss, which I'm not planning to use these for cross stitch. I like to use minders for diamond painting. So one of the things I was just really super intrigued by is she has these minders that she makes out of dominoes. And this is when I, oh, that's cute. That's the backing on this. That's kind of a thick magnet for the back if I'm gonna use it for, oh, they're literal dominoes. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. <laughs> so if I'm gonna use this for diamond painting, I might just get a really flat magnet to use on the back instead, because otherwise, like if you have a really thick backing for it, that works for cross stitch, but for diamond painting, that kind of pushes up on your canvas, but look how pretty this is. I think I was just searching for like dragon minders, and this came up and I was like, dominoes? Um, yes, <laughs> that is so fun. I also picked up a couple of seasonal ones. Look at the dog. I had a golden retriever growing up and I just thought that was so cute. And then the reindeer one. And this one is not made from a domino. <laughs> I'm not sure what she makes this one on, but it has the flat back. A wood, it's on wood, but look how pretty that is. I have kits, I think that this would match very well actually. And then the last thing that I picked up from this shop was I got one of the tins. Okay, it has a fox on it and I just, I couldn't resist. So that's really pretty. It's been like kind of painted on or Mod Podged on maybe, but who doesn't need it? Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I didn't know that was there. That's adorable. But look, for fall and for winter. Love it. Again, this is from Sweet Autumn Stitch over on Etsy. And like all these others, I will of course link to their shop below. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna run out of space. <laughs> all right, this order, we still have five more packages to go after this, you guys. Hang tight. We wanna show all these shops, all the love, right? Right. <laughs> This is from the fabulous Randa over at Randa's Crafty Corner. And Randa has a YouTube channel and an Instagram. And thanks for the candy. 
And I have very quickly turned into a huge fan of her scented putty. I really, really love using it, especially in my multi-placers. Oh, cute. <laughs> and she does include instructions. You don't need to see my invoice, but I picked up a couple more scents in one of her recent restocks. So her scented putty does sell out quickly. So I do recommend um, being in her Etsy shop and refreshing like when she's gonna be restocking and follow along again on her Instagram and she posts like, okay, yes, restocks are happening today. If they're not happening that day, check her shop announcements too. But these are the two scents that I grabbed. I'd been wanting to try peach and mango for a little bit. It kept being sold out by the time I'd get to it. And then apple cinnamon. I just thought those would be really nice scents to try. But like I said, it's putty and I know lots of people use this in their single placers as well, but honestly, uh, they just, they work perfectly for me in my multi-placer. Oh, and she switched. That's right, I remembered her saying she was switching to, is this just release paper? Uh, because I think the putty was sticking for some people. Yay, scented putty. Oh, that smells so good. That's the peach mango, oh my gosh. I don't know what magic Randa does, but her scents, like, for how they match what they're what they're advertised as or whatever, uh, they're on point. Randa, I love the scents, whatever your scent process is. <laughs> All right, this next package is from Black Wolf Woodworks. And, okay, so it's a pen turner. There are the tips. And I saw this pen and I've seen him create similar pens before but they were out of my price range and I will I will show you why uh, but this one had a little bit less of what's really special in it uh, which is oh my gosh okay this like opal inlay oh my gosh that is so sparkly and so pretty okay so um I feel like he's just released a few different styles of these over time. And um, I really love this variation because it's like a deep cherry wood and then the opal inlay is pink, like pinkish purple. And it seems like the pens that have more of these inlays cost more, I think because it's really labor intensive and the materials are expensive, but this one was just right for me. I really love Black Wolf Woodworks. Um, their craftsmanship is really incredible. They make some of my favorite pens. Um, and this is incredibly lightweight because it's all wood except for the inlay, but love that. I recommend for Black Wolf Woodworks that you follow along in uh, on their Facebook page. That's where I find that he previews all of his um, like pens that he, he's gonna be doing in a drop. I think his drops are on, are they on Wednesdays or Fridays? Um, follow him on Facebook, I'll link it below. Um, all right, so this next package, this is actually another package from uh, the Awesome Doodles shop, which I unboxed something from them yesterday and, um, or sorry, last week. Um, I had unboxed something from them and I remembered looking at it and going, I thought I ordered more than that. And I went in and looked and yes, there were two other things that were supposed to have come with that. So I messaged the shop owner. They were incredibly kind. Look at that logo, by the way. Yes. Um, and they said, I'm so sorry. Like the, uh, what did I get? A pin. Uh, they have that manufactured like separately from who manufactures the other things that I got. <laughs> and she's like, I'm so sorry. Etsy ended up clearing it out of my dashboard. I'll have these sent to you right away, which I really appreciated. So uh, quick note, I'll mention again, like I did last week. Um, this shop uh, is just, it hits home for me because I have two kiddos that are autistic and I very much um, want to be an advocate for like the actually autistic community and things like the autistic community generally much prefers the infinity symbol to puzzle pieces and that sort of thing. Um, and so this shop is owned by someone that is autistic. And I, I just noticed that. I don't think that I saw this in their last package, but yes. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to check out these other creators on Etsy. Um, Autism Inclusivity run by Autistics for Parents of Autistic Children. That is one of the groups that I am in 
and is has just been an incredible resource for me as a parent to autistic children um, and how I can be like the best support for them that I can possibly be. Note that the organizations that they're linking to and note the organization that you have probably most likely heard of in conjunction with autism that is not listed and that is an extremely deliberate choice and I encourage you to do some research yourself if you are wanting to support organizations that go to try to help with advocacy and whatnot for autism. Um, there are definitely better ones than others out there. Okay, off my pedestal again, but I ordered this sticker um, that just, I think it speaks for itself. And I thought this was so perfect and so beautiful. And I might try to find a way to convert this into a minder or I'm just gonna display it. Like I'm not gonna, you know, I don't wanna put it on anything because I don't want it to be stuck somewhere. Like this is, this means a lot to me. So I love that. And then <laughs> this really tickled <laughs> me quite a lot. Actually, if I can quick get this out. It's a keychain. It almost looks like it's made from like that, is it made from like that shrinky dink material or is it resin? I'm not totally sure, but ugh. yeah, it feels like shrinky material. <laughs> That's a keychain, mild and spicy autism because I, it's, it's tongue in cheek because the autistic community doesn't generally like appreciate the term like, oh, this person just has mild autism. That's not how it works. <laughs> but uh, so this is sort of a play on that and that's really, really fun. Anyone else want Taco Bell now? <laughs> All right, let's keep it rolling. Okay, this is not technically a small shop. This is, but I'll, I'll throw it in this in this video because it has goodies that I do, in fact, <laughs> occasionally unbox in here. But I am in the, is there something else in there? Yeah, there is. Um, I am in like a buy sell trade group for uh, Zox. <laughs> <laughs> so I keep my eye out for straps that I've missed, um, but that's fun that they still, even though this is not a small shop owner, this is just a person, they still included goodies. Oh, this is one of those squishies. I'll give that to Connor. He'll love that. It's a little bunny. But that's fun that they included like little bonus goodies, but these are the two straps that I snagged. And I don't like to, I won't overpay for them, but um, this one is called Color the Universe and it comes in different like colorways where it's like the fabric that they use is long and so it just depends on how it gets cut. Um, I love that this one was like pinks and purples. I thought this was just really beautiful. And then Color the Universe and the card. Color is the place where our brain and the universe meets. That's that's fun. So Zox, if you're not familiar, like you'll see, a, I wear them a lot. A lot of other creators wear them a lot too. Like these are both Zox bracelets. They they usually have like just a meaningful saying or something like that on the inside and then have a really pretty print on the outside. This one is one I've been actually keeping an eye out for a long time um, and it kept just selling for way too much. But this one is Somewhere Only We Know, like the song. <laughs> um, and I have really fond associations with this one because it was one of the, I, it's one of the songs I most strongly associate with like Adam introducing me to when we first met like early on. And so, yeah, when I saw that, I thought that was just really sweet. So, all right, we have two more packages to go through. Okay. Into, which you can't see the other one, but there is another box up there. <laughs> Mail day. <laughs> so this here, this is a little bit bittersweet for me, I feel like, because I think this might end up being like completely unintentionally and sadly. Um, this is from Galloway's Gallery and she always ships it in these like nice little bags. Um, I put in a really big minder order and then the next day her shop was gone. Um, and I am not going to like speculate or get into it. My guess is it has something to do with IPs, uh, but she has such an incredible minder selection and I'm, I really, really hope that she's able to get up and running elsewhere. Uh, but selfishly, I'm really glad that I 
just happened to get an order in like <laughs> before it, she had to shut down. So anyway, wishing you all the best, Miss Galloway. But I'm going to be working on um, a new like minder storage setups so that I use my minders more. Um, this is like really stuck together. Oh my gosh. Okay. It looks like I'm at a lost amount. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, you guys. This is like really taped in there. You're just getting a free. Oops. <sighs> there we go. All right. <laughs> Come back, minders. Okay. So since I'm going to be re reorganizing my minder storage, um, and I have what I need to do that now, I went ahead and ordered a new set of minders from her, which. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I just, oh my gosh, I love her minders so much. And I really, really hope she's able to reopen because, oh my gosh, I love these so much. I love, I love her quality. So these are all flat minders. Um, I couldn't resist the Christmassy one. This green dragon one was brand new when I ordered and I couldn't resist it. Um, yes, <laughs> I love it. Uh, this one has been on my wish list for a long time. I love The Greatest Showman, and I like I love this song a lot. Um, I couldn't resist that. <laughs> I know some other friends that have this adorable pusheen, which I'm a huge Disneyland fan, so Dole Whips, Boxes. Oh my gosh, this hot cocoa. And then I'm obsessed with the movie Up. So there's my little minder spread from Galloway's. Okay try to shift things a little bit here and we just have one more <laughs> all right so for Galloway's shop I will not be able to link to their Etsy shop for obvious reasons but if and when she gets reopened and running somewhere else I will add that link to the description so if you're watching this video a little bit further in the future if you wanted or if you want to come back and check back um, please feel free to do so and send all the good vibes her way. So this package, this is from Enablers Outpost and I actually have not ordered from Elizabeth in a while and which by the way, how cute, where is it? I love this little logo of theirs, it's so cute. Um, but I had been meaning to keep an eye out on their pens and try out one of their pens again because I would bought their one of their pens a while back and um, then I just kept missing out on drops or not seeing one that like super spoke to me. So then I saw this one and I set my alarm and I managed to snag it and I'm so happy. <laughs> so I see high chews in here. I don't want to rip it. Okay. And then they always include these cute little, I guess, keychains, little resin for where they live. Elizabeth and Edward. <laughs> That's such a cute logo. So yes, Elizabeth and Edward. Um, sticker. Candy, oh, that's a 15 placer. Did I ask for a 15 placer? I must have. <laughs> I guess I was feeling extra that day. So it's wrapped up. Now they do drops. I want to say, did they move them to Saturday mornings? Are they Fridays? Uh, they have a Facebook group that I'll link to below, a link to their Etsy shop as well. Then their shop announcement might say when their drops are. But I love that they're trying to get like more and more selection and turning styles and whatnot so I'm excited to get to try out one of their pens again oh my gosh this logo is that they've got in so many different forms <laughs> everywhere that's adorable I want a logo <laughs> I guess I technically have one but anyway. I appreciate that it's wrapped so carefully and oh my gosh <laughs> wow <gasps> those colors oh my gosh now I loved the color shift from the teal down to the dark navy there at the bottom and of course the gold flakes I think this just makes me think of like a night sky and oh that is stunning also um I this is like okay I think of this as being like a standard sort of length diamond painting pen um <laughs> Uh, wow. Yeah, that's this has some weight to it. Um, but I'm so curious to see like, it's nice to try out pens with different turnings because often they're much more 
they can be more comfortable to hold and ergonomic to hold. If you're someone that struggles with arthritis or like your hand cramping up when you're diamond painting, um, you could try something that has like a little bit, you know, is a little more robust, I suppose. <laughs> but this is absolutely beautiful craftsmanship. I am really excited to have another pen to try out from Enablers Outpost. And thank you so much um, for your beautiful handiwork. All right, my friends, that wraps up this small shop haul for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed getting into all of this fun stuff along with me. I will absolutely be linking to all of these small shops below, as well as if they have like an Instagram and or a YouTube channel where they post updates, I will link to that as well. So please, please support small businesses in the community. Um, these small shop owners are often crafters right alongside us, and they really are just my favorite kind of people to support. So please go and check these small shops out. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this goodness down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer. Um, but yeah, thank you to all these small shop owners for creating such gorgeous products to share with all of us and make our crafting experience even more fantastic. So, all right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and like I said, let me know if you have any questions at all. I'll talk to you in the next one. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.